Charanaravinde Sandarashita Swatma Sukavabote Nishreya Se Jangadikaya Mane Samsara Halla Halla Moha Shantyai Abahu Purusha Karam Shanka Chakrasi Harinam Sahasra Shira Sam Shvetam Pranamami Patanjani Vinyasa yoga postures follow the coiling and uncoiling sequence of the breath. The alignment and action of the posture supports the breathing, and the breathing supports, refines, and illuminates the posture. The result is a complete spreading of the awareness through the fields of the body. Vinyasa is a synchronized method of using the coiling and uncoiling of the body and breath to balance opposing tendencies and to open the core of the body and mind into the present. Pose is followed by counterpose as inhale is followed by exhale. All extremes and all phases of movement and breathing are appreciated in context, yet none are held on to as permanent. Hello, I'm Richard Freeman, and I would like to introduce you to the internal practice of Ashtanga Yoga. Our primary tool during the practice is the breath. When you whisper, the sound is soft and aspirant. As we breathe during these postures, we will make this same soft, pleasant aspirin sound with the lips closed. The sound of the inhale and the sound of the exhale should be the same. To keep the sound of the breath even and to allow access of our awareness to the core of the body, we will also practice soft, steady gazing with the eyes. The eyes will be directed towards different external or internal points without intention, ego, or strain. It will be a friendly gaze accompanied by a soft internal smile which will open and relax the back of the palate. This opening at the back of the palate will allow the movement of the breathing to drop down to the floor of the pelvis, the perineum. This will cause a gradual awakening and toning of the muscles which connect the coccyx to the pubic bone. As we begin, we will use the toning along these perineal muscles to keep the rising spreading movement of the inhale grounded in what we call the mula or root of the body at the center of the pelvic floor. Here's how to do it. Listening to the pleasant aspirin sound of the breath, finish the exhale and feel the perineum tone. As the inhale begins, draw the lower belly right above the pubic bone slightly back. During the whole inhale, imagine that you are drawing a thin thread up from the center of the perineum about an inch. Keep the soft palate open as you draw on this perineal thread with the breathing movement. Also, release the pubic bone and coccyx down at the same time. Inhaling this way fills the whole torso evenly up to the collarbones. When exhaling smoothly, just keep the center of the heart area open all the way through. 
All of the movements and poses that we will do are based on and support this internal breathing process. Watch these next few postures for important tips before we begin to practice. When inhaling, keep the feet grounded and the floating ribs behind the kidneys lifted and spread. And during the exhale, keep the back straight as long as possible before releasing it. Inhaling again, straighten the lower back. If stiff or injured, you can bend the legs during the initial descent and then lift the hands from the floor to straighten the lower back. Next, step or hop back with the exhale. Keep the arms straight like this if you need. Bend them with the shoulders squared back when you have enough strength. Inhaling, the tip of the spine, the coccyx, dives down as the toes are pointed. The hips are pulled forward, the belly releases, and the shoulders are squared back and down. Always keep the base of the index finger down whenever the hand is holding weight. Next, draw back to fold the groins deeply. Bend the knees if you are stiff for this one. Remember, never strain and always move with the breath. You can always step instead of hop. You can always bend your knees if the backs of your legs are too tight. Now, let's begin. Lie down on your back and draw up your knees. Placing your fingertips on the lower belly three inches below your navel. Listening to the sound of the breath, follow the breath to its end and feel the contraction of the pelvic floor. As you inhale, draw the lower belly under your fingertips slightly back, allowing the rest of the belly above the fingertips to be deep and free. Allow the lower back of the rib cage to fall back and spread as the whole chest and heart area are left free to spread the inhale evenly. This way, keeping contact with the perineum, inhale all the way to the brim, the collarbones. Then, begin the exhale, preserving just the essence of the inhale by keeping the heart bright and floating and the mouth soft as if you were smiling. Keep patiently cultivating this internal breathing as you go through the postures and the movements connecting the postures. Now, draw your feet up off of the floor with the inhale and rock up to stand up with the exhale. Place the sides of your big toes together. Stretch open the roots of your toes. And with the inhale, turn out the palms of your hands and draw the arms up, reaching up from the earth to the sky. Look at the thumbs as you put the hands together. With the exhale, draw back your groins. Stretch open and ground the bases of your toes. And at the end of the exhale, drop your head and look at your nose. 
Inhaling, look up and straighten your back. Now exhaling, fold over again and look to the tip of your nose. Inhaling, look up, ground your feet and come up reaching for the sky. Look to your thumbs and with the exhale, draw the arms back down to your sides. Inhale again. Open up and lift wide the wings of your kidneys and look to your thumbs. Exhaling, come up and over from the root of the body. And at the last part of the exhale, look to the nose. Inhaling, look up and straighten the back and the legs. And then exhale, fold again and look towards the tip of the nose. Inhaling, look up, plant your feet in the earth, and come up reaching. Look to the thumbs. Exhaling, swim back to samastitihi, even standing. Inhale, again, open up the wings of the breath. Reach way out and up, and exhaling, draw back the groin smoothly, keeping the feet grounded evenly. Inhale, straighten up the front of the spine from the front of your sacrum, and exhaling, fold over the groins again. And inhaling, look up, and continue up with a straight back, reaching wide and high, look to your thumbs, and exhale back to samastitihi. Good. And now the full sun salutation. Surya Namaskara. Inhaling, open up the wings of the breath, keeping the legs firm and grounded. And exhaling, smoothly, fold forward and look at the tip of your nose. Inhale, Look up and roll back the shoulders square. Bend the knees, place the hands down, and step or hop back. Keep the shoulders square. Inhaling, point your toes, lift the core of the heart high, and then exhaling, pull back over your toes. Cast forward in the hand to push the roots of your fingers down and fold the groins deeply. Listen to the sound of your breath and use the sound of the breath to concentrate the mind. Keep smiling to yourself and keep the top ends of your arm bones at the center of the armpit pulled back behind you far away from the mat. And now, with the final part of the exhale, bend your knees and look up Hop or walk. Inhaling, plant your feet evenly and look up, straightening the back. Exhale, fold over, look to your nose. And inhaling, look up. Ground the feet evenly and reach up to the sky. Exhaling, back to samastitihi. Equal grounding. Inhale, draw up the kneecaps, keep your heels grounded. Exhaling, come up and over from the root, smoothly folding forward. Look to your nose. Inhaling, look up, keeping the heels evenly grounded. Bend the knees and step or hop back. Inhaling, the toes point, the coccyx dives down, the core of the heart lifts way up. And exhaling, pull back over the toes and allow the buttocks to roll and transform completely. Listen to the sound of the breath and keep drawing back and back and back the whole outer rim of the perineum, the pubic bone, the coccyx, and the sitting bones. Open the roots of the toes and gradually draw the front of the leg up 
and back. And now with the last part of the exhale, bend the knees and look up. Hop or walk and inhaling, straighten your lower back, planting the feet evenly. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, look up. Tone your legs, draw up the kneecaps and reach up, looking to the thumbs. Exhale, back to samastitihi. One more time. Inhale, opening your toes, ground the heels evenly, lift the wings of your kidneys, and exhaling smoothly, ride the thread of the breath, and look to your nose. Inhaling, look up, roll back the shoulders, and then bend the knees and exhale smoothly as you come back and down. Inhaling, press down the roots of the index fingers and exhaling, draw back to fold the groins deeply. From the lower belly, reach longer and longer with the arms, casting the weight forward in the hand Push your sitting bones back and up towards the top of the wall behind you. Spread open the roots of the toes and ground those roots evenly. And be sure to listen to the sound of your breathing. And then with the last part of the exhale, bend the knees, hop, and inhaling, plant the feet in samastitihi form, and exhaling, fold over the groins, look to the nose. Inhaling, look up, plant your feet, tone the legs and reach for the sky. Exhale, back into samastitihi. The next is pad angushtasana. Place your hands on your hips, inhaling, bend the knees, and exhaling, hop to separate your feet about eight inches. Turn the outer edges of the feet so they're parallel. Inhaling, lift up the core of your heart slightly. Drop the coccyx. Open the throat and look towards the nose. Exhaling, draw back the groins and reach out long with the spine to fold forward. Reach down and grab your big toes. And then inhaling, look up and straighten the lower back until the arms are pulled straight. Exhaling, again fold over the groins, bend your arms, and actually pull on your big toes along the line of the floor. Point the elbows exactly away from each other so that the two arms lie in one plane, and then smile softly to yourself, looking softly towards the tip of the nose, Breathe. Now inhaling, look up and straighten the lower back. Exhaling, place the hands on the hips. And inhaling, come up with a long straight spine to standing. Bend the knees and exhale back to samastitihi. Now inhaling, bend the knees. And exhaling, hop to the side separating the feet about one leg length. This is Trikonasana, the triangle pose. Turn your right foot out, square with the mat to the right, lining the right heel up with the front edge of the left heel. Turn the left foot in about five or ten degrees from the back edge of the mat, and then open the arms to the sides. Dropping the shoulder blades, turn the palms of the hands down. Draw the kneecaps up, and now with the exhale, we're going to turn the hips to the right, folding the right groins back deep, reaching out with the right hand over the right foot. Come down and take your shin, your ankle, or if you're very flexible, your big toe with the right hand. 
And then lifting the core of your heart up the front of the spine, spread open the front edges of your armpits and move them back and turn and look up at the left thumb. Place the left thumb right on the plumb line over your mouth. And now after finishing the exhale, come up slowly with the inhale, grounding the feet, keeping the legs awake. Turn around to the other side with the left foot out and the right foot angled slightly in. Exhaling, reach out and slice back deep through the left groins Keeping your weight right in front of the left heel, take the shin or the ankle or the big toe. From the lower belly, spiral right up the front of your spine to lengthen right out through the center of the top of the head. Place the thumb right over the mouth and draw the skin of the back of the neck down the back and the skin of the tailbone down the back of the tailbone and into the edges of the coccyx. Listen to the sound of the breath and try to take the movement all the way into the perineum and then by grounding the feet we can restructure the entire position of the body again and again. And now after completing the exhale we come up slowly drawing up the kneecaps, grounding the feet. Turn the right foot out and angle the left foot 45 to 60 degrees forward so that you can square your hips fully to the right. Make sure that both feet remain evenly grounded through the four corners of each foot. Inhaling, reach up with your left arm, grounding the left foot carefully. Exhale, reach out and place your left hand next to the right foot. Stiffer people will find it helpful to place the hand on a block placed next to the inner edge of the foot. Draw your outer right hip joint back and back and back in order to turn the pelvis to the right just like a steering wheel. Reach up with the right hand near the ceiling and opening up the heart, go breath by breath deeper and deeper into the pose. Keep the kneecaps drawn up and both feet grounding evenly. And now, with the exhale, look down. With the inhale, come up, turning like a windmill, and turn all the way around to the other side, and reach up with your right hand, grounding the right leg and the right foot evenly. Keep the outer left hip joint back, and exhale, reach out with the right hand, and place it carefully next to the left foot. Keep the outer left hip joint back. Open up the toes of your left foot, grounding the inner heel equally with the base of the big toe. Listen to the sound of the breath and slowly deepen the groins by pulling the pubic bone further and further back away from the head. Keep the outer right heel grounded and both shoulder blades down your back out of the ears. And now with the exhale, look down. And with the inhale, turn. Turn the feet parallel. Bend the knees and exhaling, hop back to Samastitihi. And now, Parshva Konasana. Inhale, bend the knees. And exhaling, open again to the side. This time, wider. Turn the right foot out square with the mat. Make sure your right kneecap turns out to the right, following the toes. And then open your arms up to the sides, palms down, shoulder blades down. With the exhale, ground your right heel deeply and bend your right knee, tracking it out over the ankle. And then continue folding through the right groins. Place your right fingertips on the floor outside the ankle. Pull your right sitting bone all the way back under the left sitting bone, which will lift your inner left thigh a few inches higher away from the floor. Move the left shoulder back behind you, and then straighten the left arm along the line of the left leg, turning the palm down. 
After looking up towards the ceiling, you can then look towards the center of the palm of the left hand, and if you're flexible, you can flatten the right hand onto the floor completely. Open up your toes, keep the outer left heel firmly grounded, and smile. Try to hold the pose between your sitting bones rather than with the mouth. And after finishing the next exhale, with the inhale, we come smoothly all the way back up and we turn the feet around to the other side. With the exhale, firmly ground the left heel and track the knees square out over the ankle and then slicing deep through the outer and inner left groins, fold the left hip joint, bringing the left sitting bone under the right sitting bone, spiral up the front of the spine from the front of the sacrum, stretch the right arm in the line of the right leg with the top of the right arm bone set well behind you. Listen to the sound of the breath, moving the skin down the back of the neck, continue down to the back of the sacrum, and move down to the edges of the coccyx. Keep the toes opened in both feet, the inner right thigh hollow, the face pleasant, and the eyes soft and friendly, gazing at the center of the hand. And now inhaling, we come up smoothly, turn the feet parallel, and exhaling, hop back to Samastitihi. The next pose is Prasarita Padottanasana. Inhaling, bend the knees, and exhaling, again hop to the side, and place the outer edges of your feet so they're parallel with the hands on the hips. Inhaling, lift up the core of your heart, and at the same time lift up the floating ribs behind the kidneys. Exhaling, pull back your groins, and place your hands on the floor between the toes at about shoulder width. Inhaling, lift up your head, lift the kneecaps and sitting bones, and exhaling, fold over the groins. Place the center of the crown of the head on the floor. Make a box out of the upper arms and shoulders, and draw your shoulder blades down your back as you would in Samastitihi position. Smile softly towards the tip of your nose and keep breathing enthusiasm into the legs. Then, inhaling, we look up, straighten the lower back and the arms. Exhaling, place the hands on your hips. Looking down towards the nose, inhale up with a long, straight spine and exhale at the top. Then, inhale, open the arms, dropping the shoulder blades. Exhaling, clasp your hands together behind the back. Inhaling, pull back the hands, draw down the shoulder blades, open the heart. And exhaling, pull back your inner thighs, spreading open your toes, draw the hands all the way up and over until they eventually come down to the floor. Be sure to keep smiling to yourself as you do this. This will empty and illuminate the palate. Keep working the feet so that they are approaching even grounding. And draw the inseam of the leg way back and up. And then draw the outer seam of the leg back towards the back of the leg. Finish the exhale. And drawing up the kneecaps, start to come back up, rolling the spine out straight. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, set your coccyx, lift the front of the spine, keeping the belly soft, and exhaling, draw back the groins again. This time, reach down and grab your big toes with the middle and index fingers. Inhaling, look up and roll back the front edges of the armpits. Exhale, fold, bending the arms. Look towards the tip of your nose. Square the shoulders as in Samastitihi. Pull on the toe, keeping the inner edges of the feet well grounded. 
the legs firm, creating the sensation that the groins are continually rising and spreading. Listen to the sound of the breath, and as best you can, be conscious for the ends of the breaths. Inhaling, look up until the arms are drawn straight. Exhaling, hands to hips, look towards the tip of the nose, and inhale up with firm grounded legs. Bend the knees and exhale, hop back to Samastitihi. Parshvottanasana, inhaling, bend the knees, exhale, open again to the side, turn out the right foot, angle the left foot in 45 to 60 degrees, square the hips to the right, and then fold the hands behind your heart as if you were praying. Roll back the top ends of the arm bones, inhale, grounding the back leg, lift up the core of the heart, Lift up the kidneys, look towards the nose, and exhaling, reach out with your chin over the opening toes of the right foot. Make the legs firm and bright. Clip the outer right hip joint back and go slowly. There's no hurry here. Look softly at the big toe of the right foot. Keep the back foot well grounded and the weight right in front of the heels, creating the feeling that you're drawing the skin up the fronts of the legs towards the folds of the groins. And then completing the exhale, with the inhale, come up stretching long out through the crown of the head. Exhaling, turn around to the other side. Make sure both feet are opened and well grounded. Inhale, open the core of the heart, Lift the kidneys, look softly down towards the nose as you open the throat, and exhale, reach out with your chin, opening up the feet like fans. Keep the weight right in front of the heels. Lift your elbows, draw the skin down the back of the neck, and gradually move your right kidney towards the inner left knee. Look affectionately at your left big toe. Keep the outer right heel grounded, the kneecaps lifted, and the sound of the breath smooth and pleasant. There are no ends to these postures, so we have to work with great patience. After finishing the exhale, bolt down the four corners of each foot and come up long through the crown of the head, inhaling. Bend the knees and exhaling, hop back to Samastitihi. The next pose is Utkatasana. Touching the sides of the big toes, open up the toes, ground the heels evenly, and inhaling, open the arms up and out to the sides. Look up to the thumbs, Exhaling, draw back the groins, open up and lengthen the toes, and then look to the nose. Inhaling, roll up the front of the spine until the spine is straight. Bend the knees and exhale smoothly down to the fourth position of the sun salutation. Inhaling, point the toes and draw the belly button forward and up between the arms. Exhaling, pull back over the toes and fold the groins completely so the buttocks is completely stretched. And now bend the knees, look up between the hands, hop or step forward, come slowly into Utkatasana position, touching the sides of the big toes, touch your inner knees, separate the heels, reach up from the lower belly, keep the Toes stretched open, the feet grounded evenly, the sitting bones pulled way back and then dropped down as if heavy, the belly soft, the core of the heart floating. And now with the exhale, come up and over the groins, opening up your toes, look towards the tip of the nose. Inhaling, look up, straighten your legs and lower back. 
then bend the knees, and exhaling, hop or step down to the fourth position. Inhaling, point your toes and ground the roots of the index fingers. Exhaling, draw back the groins and go into a full and deep downward dog pose. Now, Vira Bhadrasana. Turn your left heel in and step forward with your right foot. Inhaling, lift the arms, come way out and up, reach up and look to the thumbs as you would in the first position of the sun salutation. Keep dropping your sitting bones, keep the back leg firm and intelligent, lift the wings of your kidneys wide, keep the mouth soft, and the palate empty and bright. Then, inhaling, straighten the front leg, leave the arms up, and turn all the way around square to the left side. And exhaling, track the left knee out over the ankle. Keep the back foot fully awakened. The outer right heel will seek grounding. Keep the belly soft, Lift the front of the spine, lift the kidney area, drop the coccyx, drop the pubic bone, the sitting bones. And now with the inhale, drop your arms down to the sides and turn the torso to the side, adjusting the angle of the back foot. Look at the fingertips of your left hand with soft eyes. Let the core of the heart float as if empty, keep the toes opened in both feet and the heels well grounded in both feet. And then inhaling, grounding the left heel, straighten the left leg, turn all the way around to the other side, grounding the right heel, track the right knee out square over the ankle. As you descend, wake up the left leg keeping the outer left heel well grounded. Drop the pubic bone, coccyx, and sitting bones. Let the core of the heart float up empty. Look softly at the fingertips of the right hand. Listen to the sound of the breath. And then inhaling, square your hips back to face the right leg. And exhaling, drop down again into Chatwari, the fourth position of the sun salutation. Inhaling, point your toes and lift the core of the heart all the way up near the ceiling. And exhaling, pull back over the toes and fold the groins deeply. And now we're going to sit down on the floor between the hands. With the end of the exhale, you can bend the knees, look up between the hands, and then glide forward and sit down lightly on the floor. The next pose is Dandasana, the staff pose. Adjust the skin back and out from the front edges of your sitting bones, stretch the legs out straight, and place your hands at the back edge of the buttocks. If you have stiff legs, you can place the hands further back so that you can pull the lower back up straight. Toning the legs, drop the pubic bone down, press the inner edge of the foot forward, allow the core of the heart to float up, and at the same time, the twelfth rib behind the kidney also floats up. Slowly, drop the chin down towards the sternum, and listen to the sound of your breath. The sitting bones are constantly drawing back and dropping. Next, Paschimottanasana. Inhaling, reach up from the sitting bones and exhaling, come up and over from the lower belly to grab your big toes with the middle and index fingers. 
If you have stiff legs, you can bend the knees in order to get to the big toes. Inhale, lift up the core of the heart and straighten the lower back. And exhaling, fold forward slowly, at first looking up at your big toes. Keep the inner edge of the foot pressed forward. Smile to yourself to drop the breath continuously down onto the sitting bones. Those with straight legs should firm the legs and drop the pubic bone and the inner thigh down to the floor. Listen to the sound of your breath and then inhaling, lift up the core of the heart, straighten the lower back as much as possible. B position, take the side of your foot right above the heel. Inhale, lift up the core of the heart and exhale, fold forward again. Listening to the sound of the breath, keep the skin moving down the back of the neck. Patiently work the sitting bones back and down into the earth. Inhaling, look up. Exhaling, place your hands about 12 inches behind the hips for Purvottanasana. Press back the heads of your arm bones and with the end of the exhale, curl your tail firmly under and inhaling through that curl, lift up the heart, open up your throat, press down the roots of the fingers, press back the heads of the arm bones and look towards the tip of the nose as the big toes reach for the floor. Use the power of the coccyx, the tip of the tail, to maintain this pose. And then after a deep breath in, with the exhale, sit down and cross your legs. Here is an optional movement. With the inhale, lift up your seat off the floor, and with the exhale, step or hop back into the fourth position of the sun salutation. Inhale, lift up the core of the heart, pointing the toes. And exhale, draw back and fold the groins into the dog pose. Now bend the knees, look up, and inhaling, sit down lightly between the hands. Janu Shirshasana A. Draw the right heel back to the groins and pull the left sitting bone back so the hips turn to face the left foot. Take the left foot with the right hand and inhaling, lift up the center of your heart. Exhaling, fold over the left leg. If you are flexible, you can take the left foot with both hands. If you're stiff, you can leave the left hand out to the side. Gradually, work deeper and deeper, pulling the left sitting bone back and dropping it down into the earth. Highlight your left leg and draw the inseam of the left leg down towards the floor and patiently work the right kidney forward and down towards the inner left knee. With the inhale, look up. With the exhale, switch your legs. Left heel back near the groins. Adjust the position of the right sitting bone back and take the right foot initially with the left hand, later with both hands. Inhale, lift the core of the heart, and exhale, fold over that awakened right leg. Keep the toes stretched open, the inner edge of the foot pressed evenly forward. Listen to the sound of your breath, slowly dropping first the right and then the left sitting bones into the earth. Press the shin bones of the right leg down through the spreading calf muscles towards the floor. Inhaling, look up. Exhaling, cross your legs. Inhale, lift up your seat. And exhaling, hop or step back to the fourth position, Chatwari. Inhale, point your toes, lift the core of the heart. Soften your belly. 
Exhale, draw back to totally stretch the spheres of the buttocks. Bend the knees, look up, and sit lightly again. Marichyasana A. Draw the right foot back into a wide squatting position, the foot parallel to the left leg. Inhale, reach up with the right arm, and exhaling, reach way forward, so the right foot is essentially squatting. Drop the right shoulder, and with the exhale, reach around the right leg. Reach back around with your left hand, and let the right hand hold what it can get of the left hand. Inhale, look up, lift the core of the heart, and exhaling, start to fold slowly over the left leg. Stretch firmly through the inner left heel and gradually draw the right kidney forward and down towards the inner left thigh. Listen to the sound of your breath. If you have tight legs, you can sit up on a pillow or block in order to cast the angle of the pelvis forward. And then inhaling, lift up the heart. And exhaling, switch your legs. The left foot is drawn back into a wide squat, parallel to the right leg. Inhale, reach up with the left arm. And exhaling, cast way forward. And then drop the shoulder and wrap the left arm around. The left hand takes what it can get of the right. And then inhale, lift up the heart. And exhaling, fold over the right leg. The right leg should be awakened. Press through the inner edge of the right foot, slowly moving the left kidney forward past the inner left thigh towards the inner right thigh. Gradually the chin approaches the shin. Inhaling, look up. Exhaling, cross the legs. Inhale, lift up your seat. Exhaling, step back. Inhale, lift the core of the heart. And exhaling, pull back over the toes, folding the groins completely. Bend the knees, and inhaling, sit down again. Marichasana C. Draw the right foot back into a wide squat again. Place your right hand behind your sacrum and press the left leg out along the floor three or four inches. Inhaling, reach way up with the left arm and exhaling, either catch your left elbow on the outer right knee or wrap the left arm all the way around the leg in which case the right hand comes around behind and the left hand holds the right. Inhale, lift up the center of the heart, further lengthen the left leg through the inner left foot, and exhale, turn to the right, and choose a gazing point for your eyes, and then breath by breath, we gradually refine the posture. The inner left thigh is dropping down towards the floor. The left kidney is lifting up and in towards the inner right thigh. The face is pleasant. The skin is drawing down the back of the neck. And then with the inhale, release the arms and turn to the other side. The left leg is drawn back into a wide squat. The left hand behind the sacrum, we push the right leg along the floor to turn the pelvis to face the left leg. Inhale, reach up with the right arm. And exhaling, either wrap the arm around the left leg or just catch the outer left knee with the right elbow. Inhaling, again lift up the core of the heart. And exhaling, turn all the way around to the left. Press out through the inner edge of the right foot. And with steady eyes, an empty palate, a soft inward smile, drop the breath down to the sitting bones so that eventually both sitting bones will be grounded.
And then inhaling, release the arms. Exhaling, cross the legs. Inhale, lift up the seat. And exhale, step back. Inhaling, press down the roots of the fingers. Exhale, draw back into the downward-facing dog pose. And inhaling, hop through for Navasana, the boat pose. Inhale, stretch the legs up. Point the toes and stretch your inner heel away from you. Place the arms parallel to each other and draw back the front edges of the armpits. The lower back here should be as straight as possible. Now exhaling, cross your legs, press down the roots of the fingers, and inhale, lean forward to lift your seat up off the floor. Exhale, sit down again, and inhaling, stretch up the legs. We're balancing on the back edges of the sitting bones. The eyes are looking softly at the toes, and the core of the heart is floating as if we had helium inside. And now exhale, cross the legs, Inhale, lift up your seat again. And exhaling, step back into the fourth position of the sun salutation. Inhaling, the coccyx dives down, the core of the heart comes up. Exhaling, pull back over the toes. And then we'll sit down again between the hands for Baddha Konasana. Pull the feet back and place the soles of the feet together. If you're stiff, you should place your hands on the floor behind the hips and simply pull your lumbar spine, the lower spine, up and in to sit straight. Otherwise, take your toes. Inhaling, lift up the core of your heart, and exhaling, we're going to fold forward slowly, coming up and over from the root of the body, opening up the soles of the feet like a book, into which we will eventually place our belly. Look softly down towards the tip of the nose. If your knees are up in the air, you can use your elbows to slowly work against the inner thigh. Be sure to drop your breath down to the sitting bones, and the descent of the sitting bones towards the floor will slowly wake up the root of the movement in the posture. After finishing the exhale, inhaling, sit up straight as an arrow. And then, Upavishta Konasana. With the exhale, straighten out the legs, opening them to about a 120 degree angle. If you're stiff, you can place your hands behind your hips and simply sit up straight for the whole duration of the posture. If you're flexible, you can reach out and grab your big toes with your middle and index fingers. Now inhaling, truly straighten the lower back and stretch out long through the legs, squaring the feet, and then coming up from under the belly, slowly fold forward. As you go forward, the inner thigh will descend towards the floor, and eventually we'll be able to place our bellies on the floor, keeping the feet vertical. After folding the inner groins down to the floor, slowly pull back the outer groins to reground the sitting bones. Look softly towards the tip of your nose, smile to yourself, and listen to the circulation of your breath. After finishing the exhale, with the inhale, we'll sit up again. With the exhale, we'll cross the legs, Inhale, lift up your seat, and exhaling, step or hop back to the fourth position, Chatwari. Inhale, lift and open the core of the heart with the shoulders back and down. Exhale, draw back the groins, folding them completely. Now bend the knees, look up, and we're going to lie down on our backs for Supta Hastapada Angushtasana. Inhaling, lift up your right leg and grab your right big toe with the middle and index fingers. Place your left hand on your left thigh. And now, with the exhale, 
Sit up and place your chin on your right knee. Stretch down long through your left leg. Bend your right arm and actually pull on the toe. Listen to the sound of the breath. Those who are stiff will bend the right knee in order to have any access to this pose. Inhaling, place your head back down onto the floor. And exhaling, slowly open your leg to the right. Turn your head to the left and look at any point over to the horizon on the left. Drop your left shoulder back to the floor and stretch down firmly through the left leg and gradually pull the right sitting bone down. With the inhale, draw the right leg back up. And with the exhale, touch your chin to the right knee or shin again. Inhale, head back to the floor. Exhale, release the right foot. Let it return to the floor. And inhaling, draw your left leg up and take the left big toe. With the exhale, bend your left arm, actually pull on the toe firmly, and bring your right kidney up and in towards the inner left thigh, and the chin to either the left knee or shin. Slide the right hand down the right thigh as close as you can get it to the right knee. Stretching through the right heel, point your right toes. With the inhale, place the head back down to the floor. With the exhale, open the left leg out to the side. Move from the lower belly, three inches below the navel. Drop the right shoulder all the way back to the floor and look over at a point to the right. Listen to the sound of the breath. With the inhale, draw the left leg back up. With the exhale, the chin again comes towards the knee. With the inhale, place the head down. With the exhale, the left leg comes back down. Inhaling, draw up both knees. Take the shins with your hands. And with the exhale, rock up to a seated position. And now for the finishing poses. Stretch out both legs in front for Paschimottanasana. Be sure to move the skin back and out from the front edges of your sitting bones. Inhale, reach up. And coming up and over from under the belly, reach out and either take the big toes or the sides of the feet right above the heels. Inhale, lift up the core of the heart and straighten the lower back as much as possible. And exhaling, slowly fold forward, keeping the center of the heart open. Listen to the sound of the breath. Stiff people can bend the knees here. It's more important at this point to fold the groins deeply and to drop the sitting bones deep into the earth. Those with straight legs should open up the toes and work the legs long and straight. Keep dropping the upper innermost part of the inner thigh down to the floor, eventually to drop the whole top end of the leg bone back and down, deeper and deeper, closer to the ground. Remember, this is essentially a breathing exercise. So listen to the sound of the breath. Patiently cultivate mula bandha in the perineum with the heart wide open and the root of the palate bright as if you were smiling. All of the finishing poses should be done in a meditative way. Then, inhaling, lift the head to straighten the spine. And exhaling, we'll slowly lie down on our backs. When the back of your head gets to the floor, press back lightly in order to adjust the shoulders back into samastitihi position. Draw the skin down your back to the edges of your coccyx. 
Let the groins fall back so that the core of the heart floats. And now, Setu Bandha Sarvangasana. With the sound of the inhale, draw both knees up and place your heels at the outermost edges of the buttocks. Keep the feet parallel. And place your arms down along the sides of the body. Now, with the exhale, with your imagination, draw the skin down the back of your spine all the way to the edges of the coccyx so that the coccyx starts to curl into the perineum. Listening to the inhale, through the curl of the perineum, slowly lift the hips off the floor. On the way up, walk your shoulders straight back into the floor and clasp your hands together underneath your back. Straighten out your arms. Look softly down with your eyes towards the tip of the nose. Remember, don't try to actually focus there. And with the action of the coccyx, slowly you'll go higher and higher. Keep the feet parallel, the inner thighs nearly parallel, and the belly big and soft. So it feels as if the skin were flowing up the front of the torso from the lower belly, melting into the throat. The fronts of the armpits are clipped completely up and back towards the floor. The palate is empty. The center of the palate feels high and bright like an empty dome. And the root of the palate is open, wide, to receive the movement coming up the front of the spine from the center of the perineum. Soften the temples, smile to yourself, and listen to the sound of the breath, which will maintain the action of the coccyx. After taking a deep breath in, listen to the sound of the breath as you exhale, slowly roll back down, and place your emptied sacrum on the floor. And then, Matsyasana, the fish pose. Stretch out both legs straight along the floor and place your hands underneath your buttocks just to help get into the pose. Stretch down through the heels and inhaling, ground the elbows and lift up the center of the heart the chest, drop your head back and place the center of the crown of the head on the floor. And then pull your hands out free from underneath the buttocks and work the elbows down under the small of the back and use the elbows to readjust the arch of the spine. Stretch again through the heels and then turn your eyes to look softly towards the tip of the nose. Allow the breath to flow freely. The breath will drop the sitting bones further into the earth. It will lift up the center of the heart. Release and empty the palate so that the ears open. And now take the upper back of the leg with the fingertips. Ground the elbows. With the exhale, lift up your head and look down the front of your body. Curl your tail under and then inhaling, lie back and let the back of the head spread out into the floor. Soften your mouth so that your breath flows directly into the sensations and feelings. Then, listening to the sound of the breath, draw the knees up with the inhale. Take your shins, lift the hips a little off the floor, and exhaling, rock up to sit up. And now we'll cross the legs into either Padmasana or Sukhasana, 
which means the happy pose or the easy pose. Again, pull the skin back from the front edges of the sitting bones. If you are tight in the legs and hips, you can sit up on a pillow or a block in order to turn the pelvis to a truly vertical position. Straighten out the arms and turn the palms of the hands upwards. Join the index fingers and thumbs into Jnana Mudra, and then draw the front edge of your armpit up and back. The shoulders almost begin to shrug here. And then draw the shoulder blades down the back and flat into the back. Allow the core of your heart to float up, as if empty and bright. And smiling to yourself, allow the breath to flow down all the way to the sitting bones. The floating ribs behind the kidneys will float up and spread. The whole lower edge of the rib cage will feel hollow. And in this way, listening to the soft, pleasant sound of the breath, we will gradually cultivate the rising at the center point of the perineum, the dropping of the rim of the perineum. This type of breathing is most of all very pleasant. Open up the ears and listen. Now, before we do the corpse pose, we're going to lift up for five breaths. So place the hands down in front of the hips, behind the knees. Lean forward and press the roots of the fingers down and lift your seat up off the floor. If you can, lift your knees up high too. Five breaths. Press the shoulders down the fronts of the armpits up. And now for the last time, we're going to jump back and do the two dog poses before the corpse pose. You can jump back or crawl back. Inhaling, lift up the core of your heart, open it and paste it up onto the ceiling. Open the throat as you look towards the nose. Exhaling, pull back, open up your toes and fold the groins deeply. Mm, be sure to relax the mouth. Allow the breath to pull you. And then, with the last portion of the exhale, bend the knees, look up, and we'll lie down on our backs for Shavasana, the corpse pose. Initially, lie down in the same form that you use when standing in samastitihi. So adjust the head so that it has no rotation to the left or the right. Adjust the shoulders so that they're in samastitihi position with the shoulder blades gripped down the back and the top end of the arm bone rolled up and back. Initially, straighten the legs and the arms for just a minute. 
Stay with the sound of the ujjayi breathing for just one minute. Drawing the skin down the back of the spine, we hold that draw at the edges of the coccyx leading into the perineum. Turn the eyes downwards softly and smile to yourself. Drop the groins back hollow. And as the smile at the root of the palate spreads, the ears open. We set the breath free, free to circulate anywhere, inside or outside. We release the hands and the feet. We'll release the legs, allowing the sacrum and the back of the head to spread out. Just listening, listening to the background of sound as it is. Softening the soles of the feet, softening the palms of the hands. The center of the palate is bright and high. The tongue is released, pure and silent. The center of the heart floats, empty and bright. The bridge of the nose is wide. And just listening will leave everything alone as it is.